Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna update the V BIOS on my RTX 3080 Ti EVGA for the win three cards to hopefully get some more performance out of them. So let me just walk you through what I've been noticing. Let's switch over to Hive OS here. And what you see is my 3080 Ti rig, which has some different GPUs in it, but three of them are identical. And that's, there's three EVGA for the win threes in there. And you can see one of them is GPU one. And the other ones are GPUs three and four. And what you'll notice right away is even though I'm using the same overclocks on all the GPUs, GPU one is just wildly outperforming the rest. And right now I'm dual mining still both Ethereum and Toncoin. And you see GPU one is doing almost 85 mega hash on ETH and 2.2 giga hash on Ton. And with these same exact overclocks, and I've tried different overclocks and stuff, but with the same exact overclocks, GPUs three and four, which are both identical to GPU one, are not performing the same. Really, really underperforming the other GPU. And what I've noticed when I was looking at this is the BIOS versions are different. So you can see the BIOS version right here after the memory type on this GPU, the one that's doing really well, is 94.02.71.80.74. Uh, and the other two are running the, uh, the same BIOS, which is different from the GPU that's performing really well. So I went over on Tech Power Up and just looked at the BIOS versions. And you can see that the BIOS version that that GPU that's doing really well is running is this one here, which was released on July 12th, 2021. And the one that the other cards are running is older, released in April 20th, 2021. I also noticed there's even an additional BIOS that was released on July 19th. So what I'm going to do in this video is get the BIOSes updated on these GPUs that aren't doing so well. So I'll walk you through how to do that on these EVGA cards. Uh, I got to get them out of that rig. We'll get them up on this test bench. And we will update the BIOS to on all of them and see what kind of performance we get. So let's get going. Got both 3080 Ti's out of the mining rig. I got one of them up on the test bench. So these are the two that are running the really old BIOS version. So we're going to get started flashing that here in a second. But one thing I wanted to show you in case you don't use Hive or on Windows, you can check your BIOS version here as well using GPU-Z is a software that I use. And you can see reported right here, that same older BIOS ending in .af. So next thing we got to do is open up EVJ Precision X1, which is, if you're not familiar, similar to MSI Afterburner with like overclocks and all that, but it's built by EVJ, which allows me to go over to this rebar tab. And you can see the graphics view BIOS reported there as well. And it's telling me I have an update available. So I'm gonna head and click that. You're about to flash your view BIOS, click update to continue. I'm gonna click update. And this is gonna then pull hopefully the latest available V BIOS from EVJ and flash it onto this GPU. So we have the firmware update utility that just launched. Do you want to continue? I'm gonna hit Y to continue. We'll let this load up, let this V BIOS flash onto this GPU. We'll test what version it put on it. You're about to update the firmware of your display adapter. Sure, yes, I wanna continue. Uh, we're gonna see what version it puts on it. Hopefully it's that latest one that we saw on the Tech Power Up website earlier. Uh, so you can see this is doing its thing. We have progress. I'm gonna let that finish and we'll come back and check it out. BIOS updates done. It only takes like 10 seconds, then you just reboot your computer. So really fast. And you can see that it has updated to the latest version, which ends in .74. The one thing I was confused about is that on Tech Power Up's website, there's one after that for the 413 Ultra, which is ends in 0.86. I'm not going to mess around with trying to manually flash that. I don't know if maybe that's for the hybrid card or what, but I'm just going to go with what Precision X told me the update was, which ends in 0.74, which is exactly what that other GPU that was performing really well does. So uh, let me get the other card flash as well. We'll get them back in the rig and test performance. So I ran into a problem with this other 3080 Ti I'm trying to flash. So you can see in GPU-Z, it's something that has that same old BIOS version ending in .af that was also confirmed in HiveOS. But in EVJ Precision X, it's telling me that it has the right latest up-to-date BIOS version ending in 0.74, which I know is 100% not true. I've obviously powered down this rig completely. I've reinstalled Precision X1 from scratch, but it's still picking up that it's running a newer version of the vBIOS than I know it is. So what I'm going to do is show you an alternative way to manually update the BIOS on these GPUs. And the tool we're going to use to do that is called NV Flash, which you can get from over on Tech Power. I'll leave links to all this down in the description. NVIDIA NV Flash. So I've downloaded that and I've also downloaded that 
VBIOS for this card ending in 0.74. And I have both of those saved on my desktop here. I'm going to walk through getting this updated manually. So let me load up NV Flash 64. Um, and you can see it gives me some instructions here. The command that I'm going to use is to update the VBIOS firmware. It's this first command. So I think what I got to do is probably load up the command prompt. I'm going to run that as administrator. Let me navigate over to where I have these files stored. So CD is changed directory. Um, I'm actually go back first, back to the C drive. And then I'm going to do CD for change directory. Uh, and we're going to go users, Red Fox, desktop. And that should bring me to the right location where these files are stored. So the next thing I got to do is put the executable that I want to run, which is NV Flash 64. And then followed by that is going to be the BIOS here. Uh, so I'm going to copy the name of that. So I don't have to type it all in. Let's paste that in, hit enter. And you can see it's loading up. It's checking for matches between the display adapters and images. And this is pretty much taking me down the same route that I was going down uh, when I was doing it in Precision X. So you can see again here, confirmed, current version is the old point AF, uh, and it's gonna be replaced with the new version. So I'm gonna hit Y to confirm that. This is gonna do the same update, and then we'll just double check that this comes back with the firmware version that I needed to have. So we'll be right back. All right, that worked without problem. You can see BIOS version running now is 0.74. Let's get these both back into the rig. Rigs put back together and upper mining over in Hive West. Been mining for about 45 minutes. And just a refresher here, you can see GPU one doing the same exact performance it was doing. It pretty much stays locked at 84.7 mega hash. I'm using Law Miner to do the dual mining of Ton and Ethereum, and it never gets an LHR lock detected at all ever in this last 45 minutes when you look at the miner. But GPUs three and four still do. Performance-wise, GPU 4 is definitely much improved from where it was before, but GPU 3 is not. It's right around the same. So I think what I'm going to do now is tune these core and memory overclocks just a little bit to see if I can get these to match the same performance as GPU 1. So here's where I landed. I've been messing with this pretty much all day today, and I'm really frustrated. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know down in the comment section below. But I've definitely made progress. It's still not where I want it to be. So again, the benchmark is that 3080 Ti GPU one, which is doing amazing, even better than before. 85 mega hash on Ethereum, 2.3 giga hash on Toncoin right now. I was able to boost up GPU four really nicely. I was able to get the gigabyte GPU to boost it up really nicely just by messing with some memory overclock. Some of them I had to reduce, some of them I had to put higher. Um, and those are doing really, really nice. The one that's really frustrating is the other for the win three card, which is GPU three. I am getting non-stop mining lock detected, LHR lock detected on this card in the law miner. I've tried every memory overclock. I've tried dialing it back all the way to 1500. I've tried core, no core lock. I've tried core locks as high as 16, 1700, as low as 1100. No matter what I do, this specific GPU is constantly getting LHR locked and it just keeps dropping the mega hash all the way down to what you see on your screen right now, 71 mega hash, which is I think worse than I even had it before. So I'm not really sure what happened. And then the other GPU, GPU zero, I made some progress with. That's getting close to 80 mega hash. But what I'd really like to do is get all of these above 80 mega hash. That was my goal. And then above two giga hash over on Ton. But it's uh, it seems to be a little bit of a struggle. So this seems like ongoing work for me. You know, I kind of wrapping this whole thing up. I'm just trying to figure out like, did the BIOS update even do anything? Was this a complete waste of my time? It seems like it helped a little bit, but perhaps I just needed to really look at figuring out the memory overclocks and the core clocks with this Law Miner Toncoin dual mining. You guys, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging with me through it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link's down in the description below. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. Links are down in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.